Hi everyone, in this video I'm going to answer the question if NEO stock is a buy. I'm going to use my simplified six step framework for analysis so let's get right into it. The first step in my framework looks at customer value and NEO sells electric vehicles that are relatively expensive at seventy to eighty thousand dollars before subsidies but unlike Tesla or other EVs it offers a battery swapping technology battery swapping stations improve the experience of EV ownership swapping batteries takes less than 10 minutes instead of the rapid charging stations which can take 30 minutes or more so this relieves a pressure point for owning an, an electric vehicle stop, uh, car which is the long time it can take to charge it if you can swap a battery out instead that's incredibly more convenient so that's good value for customers and there's evidence that customers perceive good value because sales have increased from 719 million in 2018 to 5.7 billion in 2021 the next step in my framework looks at unit economics and manufacturing and selling electric vehicles and the charging stations is a heavily capital intensive industry that requires large scale before profitability is achieved for neo its gross profit margin increased from 11 and a half percent in 2020 to 18.9 percent in 2021 it's good to see progress as revenue is increasing margin is expanding and the same with operating profit margin which improved from negative 194 percent in 2018 to negative 12 percent in 2021 so the losses are decreasing the margin losses are decreasing as revenue is increasing and gross profit margin is increasing so there's evidence of economies in scale here however they have not achieved the scale yet to deliver profits they reported 706 million in operating losses in 2021 on sales of 5.7 billion. The next step in my framework looks at the total addressable market or the, the opportunity in front of the business. And NEO's addressable market for the most part right now is in selling cars in China, EVs in China. And China's the largest. Elect, uh, the largest vehicle market in the world with 26 million units sold in 2021 so a massive market and I imagine they're going to expand to other markets in the future as well so a massive total addressable market for NEO in front of it next step in my framework looks at competition and the electric vehicle industry is growing rapidly with several new car companies EV specific have entered the fray further legacy companies like Ford GM and others have ramped up electric vehicle production so not only are there new EV companies on the rise but they're the traditional older manufacturing companies with decades of experience are now jumping both feet in into the electric vehicle industry so competition is soaring um, but the good news is for investors that competition is not based on price right now they're not these EV companies are not fighting over themselves to offer a lower and lower price right for now the competition is just among capturing all of that growth in the industry um, EV companies have been able to sell these cars at expensive prices and they've got backlogs of orders not only are they selling them for expensive prices but most of these EV companies have orders that customers are waiting for months and even over a year to receive their orders and so yes competition is rising but for now the growth in the industry is rising faster than competition is so for now that's good news for investors the next step in my framework considers valuation and neo I had to use the price to sales ratio because it's not consistently profitable on the bottom line nor is it consistently positive free cash flow so I chose to use the price to sales ratio and neo is selling at a price to sales of 2.5 which is right about the level it was trading at it, uh, around January of 2020 before all the hype into electric vehicles took into to effect remember in in 2020 and you know 
maybe early parts of 2021, there was a lot of hype around EV stocks that sent these stock prices soaring, in my opinion, to unreasonably high levels. NEO was trading at a price to sales over 30, which was unreasonable in my opinion. Now at a price to sales of 2.5, I wouldn't say it's cheap, but I would say it's fairly priced. It's reasonably priced. The final step in my framework looks at risks. And for NEO, China's zero COVID policy is hampering production growth. They were able to increase production pretty rapidly over the previous three years. And this year in 2022, production growth has decelerated, partly due to the supply chain issues um, as a result of China's zero COVID policy. Further, the tougher trade restrictions on semiconductors, if you're not aware, the US government has implemented a wider restriction policy on semiconductors sold into Russia and China. And so that could make it difficult for NEO to get its hands on the semiconductors that it needs to produce these vehicles. That's an increased risk. And finally, slowing economic growth could hinder demand for these expensive electric vehicles, right? They're selling for between seventy and $80,000. If people are losing their jobs and not getting promoted, they're not going to go out looking for these kinds of expensive electric vehicles. So that's another risk there. Now that I've looked at each of the steps in my framework, let me assign NEO a grade on each step. For customer value, I gave NEO an A-. minus. The added convenience from having the battery swapping technology in addition to evidence of the perceived customer value from its rising sales gave, I, gave me the ability to give NEO an A-. minus. Unit economics, I gave NEO a B minus here. On the one side, they're not yet profitable, but on the other side, they're demonstrating efficiencies in scale by expanding their gross profit margins and decreasing their losses of operating profit margin. Total addressable market, I gave NEO an A plus. The car industry in China is massive. The car industry worldwide is massive. And to be a part of that market is just a, one of the biggest markets in the world. A plus there. Competition, I gave them a B minus because so many car companies are now coming out with EVs and ramping up production. Even if you have robust customer demand for your cars, just the rise in competition alone can be a negative for the business because now you have several companies buying the same components that you're trying to buy and that makes it harder for you to buy them. And then if you can buy them, you're going to have to pay higher prices for those components, which is going to hurt your profit margins. So rising competition is bad news both for sales and for profit margins. Risks, I gave NEO a C- minus here. Risks are extremely high for this company because of China's regulatory policies, because of the added risks from trade restrictions between the US and China. I gave NEO a risk score of C- minus here. Very high risk associated with NEO stock. Finally, valuation, I gave them a B-. minus. They are relatively fairly priced according to the price to sales ratio, but because of the brief history in the public markets, because of the lack of profitability, the lack of positive free cash flow, having to use that ratio, they get a B minus. Okay, so next I will reveal if NEO stock is a buy, but before I do, I'd like to take this moment to ask all of you to please subscribe to my channel because the recommendation I will provide on the next slide is not going to remain the same over time, right? Next week, next month, next quarter, that might change with changing business conditions, with changing prices of the stock. And so as things change and evolve, I will be providing updates on my channel. And so you're going to want to know what's going on with NEO stock. And for that reason, this would be a good time to hit that subscribe button. With that being said, let's go ahead and answer the question, is NEO stock a buy? NEO stock is not a buy. The incredibly high risks associated with this company, because 
remember, investing in an EV company is risky in and of itself, but investing in an EV company that's hindered with regulatory concerns between trade wars and all of that between the US and China makes it that much more riskier. And then combine that with the fact that the company's still not profitable on the bottom line gives me the sways me in the direction to say it's not yet time to buy this stock. You want to wait a little while to get some more clarity on these trade restrictions, to get some more clarity on its progress in achieving these economies in scale, even amid rising competition and these trade restrictions. So it would be prudent to wait for now before buying NEO stock. All right, so that's all I've got for this installment of Is This Stock a Buy? Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time. I want to thank The Motley Fool for sponsoring this video. The Motley Fool is a company that provides investing insight and stock recommendations for all investors of all skill sets and risk levels. So I'm proud to partner with The Motley Fool to bring you 10 stock picks from their popular product, Stock Advisor. Stock Advisor has beaten the market by more than three times. Go to fool.com slash parkev to get your 10 stock picks now.